Hi, I'm Larry Nolis of Schneider Electric. I'm the product manager for the Square D brand of NEMA rated Type S starters. Today I'd like to show you how to replace the contacts in that starter. I have before me a Square D Type S NEMA size 1 starter with a solid state overload relay. We refer to that as our Motor Logic solid state overload relay. We wanna, I want to demonstrate changing the contacts in the starter itself. So to begin with, to get access to the contacts, the easiest thing to do is remove the wires to the terminals on the coil. So I'm going to remove both the A1 and the A2 wires. I'm going to pull those to the side so that I can loosen the screws to the contact itself. The contactor has two screws. They are diagonal. We will loosen them and we'll be able to take the coil and the contact carrier and contacts off in one piece. So right here I have my six movable contacts and in the bottom of the contactor itself we have six stationary contacts. So we'll begin to move those by taking off the terminal. We bring off the contact. These are new contacts. If these were used contacts we would have some pitting and scarring on this face. We would also have some black carbon on the contact surface. That is all perfectly natural. Every time this contactor opens and closes we have a little arc that's created. Every time we have a little arc, we wear a little bit of the silver off the contact away. You should never ever try and polish a contact in a contactor. When you polish them or file them, you're purely taking um, the silver off of the contact tips, removing life from those contacts. So I've removed the contact. In the replacement contact kit, we will have the three contacts, actually six blades, that will go into the contact carrier and then we will have six stationary contacts. So let's take one of the movable contacts and put it back into the contact carrier. So it simply slides in like that. We move the spring down, the return spring down, and hopefully you can see the return spring. All three of the contacts are right there. Okay, so now to replace a stationary contact, I'm going to turn the contactor around and I'm going to loosen the screw on the contact terminal. I can bring it out and then I can take any one of the six stationary contacts, place it back into the base and tighten that particular screw back. The appropriate torque value for that screw is six to nine inch pounds. I'm not gonna take the torque driver to do that right now, but that would be replacing that contact in that base. So the last step is to put the head the, um, back onto the starter. You cannot put it on upside down. Right now I have my starter base upside down so I could work on it, but I cannot get the, the power head back into place. So I'm going to flip that starter and I'm going to place it right back onto the base. It really just drops into place. I'm going to tighten the screws. These screws have a 18 to 21 inch pound rating. So I'm going to use my torque driver to torque that down. Once the torque driver begins to ratchet, we know that we're tight. Okay, we're good to go. Last step is to put the coil wires back onto the A1 and A2 terminals. That's nine to six to nine inch pounds for those terminals as well. So now we have a 
U starter with brand new contacts in it. Thank you for joining us today. If you would like more information on these products, please look for it on our website. Thank you.